What's up folks, Man Amazing here. So 1.3 just released a few days ago, and with each update I get more and more excited for the future of Lumberyard. This new update has a few new features, but it tries to primarily focus on stabilizing the core features with a lot of the new features that came out, such as emotion effects and a script canvas, and other features from the last two or three versions. Amazon wants to make sure that the systems are working together and that they aren't just stacking new feature on top of new feature. Uh, systems such as like emotion effects and script canvas uh, are going through iterations. Uh, different cloud gems are going through iterations and getting new content added to them for us as users to use. And it's only going to make the foundation and the core engine better when they take their time and make sure the systems are working all together before adding uh, new things. Now I know that I've missed a couple of versions, um, so I'm definitely going to put out tutorials in my own version of tutorials of the things that I missed and the things that I have to learn uh, because I have yet to touch script canvas or emotion effects. So we have a lot to get to. So first off, we have a new physics component called PhysX by NVIDIA. It's in preview mode, so like all preview systems in Lumberyard, it is uh, placed there to replace the old system. So with this, it will handle all of the collision with the body simulation, uh, pretty much anything to deal with physics. It will be handled by NVIDIA's product, which should handle very nicely. Next, you have extra customizability to the text to speech gym. I have yet to dabble in anything cloud based or any of the networking inside of Lumberyard, as you guys know. Uh, so I'm not going to elaborate too much on this. But you guys can definitely check out the release notes and i'll have a link in the description below for that there's also a new feature called cross gem communication so this allows api operations from different gems to be exposed and communicate with each other so to give you guys an example i'm actually going to give the example that's on the website it allows something like say the text-to-speech and the message of the day gem to send procedural voice messages to player so where you have a voice gem and a gem that does the you know message of the day, you can have those gems talk to each other and complete a totally different experience for the player. So that's pretty awesome. There is also a new navigation entity component, which should make creating navigable areas clean and quick, along with the new navigation seed, which can be used in a variety of different ways such as allowing the AI to go or not to go certain routes or areas. And we will definitely be exploring this in tutorials because I love AI programming, always have. And it's something I wanna explore more with the use of Lumberyard or just code in general. So that's the video guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, I am back, it's a new year. We're gonna have some tutorials, some videos on indie game development. Uh, we might even do some reviews of indie games good ones the good games <laughs> uh so uh let me know if you guys like that that sounds good if you guys have any questions or comments please not forget to let me know below i will post links in the description for the release notes and even where to download the engine um and yeah i will catch you guys later as always guys hope you guys have a great day and always remember guys to keep developing